So it's been a bad morning. Um, yesterday, coming home from Jeldwin, Jeep says to die and start doing its deal. And you guys saw the video recently I posted that I was having troubles. Well, shortly after that, it dies. And trying to start it, it wouldn't start for a good 20 minutes. So I let it sit. Figured maybe after sitting for a couple hours, it'd fire right up. Well, what do you know? I go out break and it fires up. So at that point, I know it's electrical issue. And once the computer is reset, it fires and runs again. And that gives me my, my thoughts of it could be the computer going to shit. And, you know, because I've tried putting starting fluid after it dies like that. And it just won't fire at all. So there's no spark. And from there, it believes that the computer, only thing I can think of, if unless something's shorting out, but I have a hard time thinking that, because I've got a new ignition coil, I've got a brand new cap and rotor, I've got new plugs, I've got new wires, I've got brand new fuel pump in the system, I've got brand new fucking injectors, I've got, I mean, it needs a air, uh, air filter, but I really doubt that's going to cause it to not freaking start. I mean, I've had the thing off when I was trying to start it. Got a new oil change. It's got oil, oil filter. I can't even think of it. Oh, new crank sensor. New map sensor. New thought of by position sensor. I mean, I don't know what it could possibly be to make it not run. And when it does run, it dies all the time. It's got to be the computer. So if something's getting hot in the computer, and it's just freaking out and killing it. Because if it's not the crank sensor, because that's a very good reason why it shuts off all the time and dies. That's a crank sensor. Well, it's replaced. And it hasn't fix, fixed it. And I've took it to a Dodge dealership, because it's part of Chrysler. So they reset the computer, and that worked for about a week. And then it went to shit again. So... All the things running down to, I think that's a computer. So, back to what I was talking about. I got towed home yesterday because it died. Well, after, you know, it, it wouldn't start at the... It started up the break, and I got off work at 2.30. And I went to go run it. I got halfway home. It just died. And it's been about the same area what's always been dying. So, I'm starting to figure out that it's got to be the computer. And long story short, I got towed home. I couldn't find a ride to work today. Right now it is, let's see, 5.30, no, 5.27 in the morning. And I'm in the, outside of Klamath, just past Pilot, and this little gas station here. Looks like kind of sketchy-ass area. But as you see back there, there's a little motel called the Travel Inn Motel, and this lady in there, she helped me out because there's no phone service out here. And what are the odds of that? But yes, I broke down, coming off the highway, and thank God I had a little section I could pull into. Thank God it wasn't a corner, so obviously someone was watching me, so I appreciate that. But yeah, the battery's almost dead, and I just got to the point where I left the left juice in it. Where if it came to God heaven, who knows? Where I'd come back and get it fired up again to get it home. But I'm going to Medford, I guess, go to Soul Savers, because, I mean, I had a call in to work. I mean, I didn't. I had no way to, because no one was going to come get me, so I called my express employment help place, and, I mean, I didn't want to do it. But I called and said, I don't know what to do. I mean, I'm stressed all out to no, no belief about this damn rig. I mean, I just want to be able to get up in the morning and start my rig, let it warm up without the manager coming out because my engine's revving weird, and they said I got noise complaints from it revving all the time because they don't run right, and I'm trying to warm my damn rig up, you know, and it just, it's stupid, you know, I mean, I understand you're trying to sleep, but my windows are frosted, my cold range is cold, and I don't care what you say, I know enough about rigs, you don't start your rig up in freezing ass cold and take off. You don't do that. That just ruins a rig. 
And it's already screwed up enough. I don't need that shit. So, I have a buddy come and get me. I'm a roommate. A good buddy of mine now. And he's coming to get me. I'm going to go home. I'm going to sleep a little bit. And just relax. And not be stressed out right now. And I'm going to call Soul Savers when I get up. I want to call some friends and pay for fuel. Because I got plenty of money for fuel. So he can take me to Medford. And we'll go get... I'm going to go out on the dealerships. Because I'm coming home with a new rig. I'm kind of excited about that. I mean, Soul Savers, I, did, I looked them online last night. And I saw a couple pickups. It was a 2002 Ford F-250, and it was beautiful. I mean, it had 125,000 miles on it in 2002. And it just, it's a full drive, full door, extra large cab with a short bed. But, you know, I really don't care at this point. And it would be nice to use. So, what I'm going to do is I'm going to look at it. There's also a Dodge Dart. I really like the Dodge Dart, so I've never owned a car before. I never plan on owning a car, but... You know, I think it's got like 36 miles on the gallon. That's nice. Better than fucking 15, I think I'm getting. Right now, I'm getting none. So. But I will let you guys know on the way to Medford today. And I'll keep you guys posted. And we get my buddy Chance in there. And his um, girlfriend, Shy. But. What'd you guys all know? So I'm trying to figure out a thing, I, like a deal for the starting of my video. Try and make a deal out. If anyone knows how to do it, let me know because I kind of want to make it, at least make my video look videos look good. Like make them interesting, keep people watching. I know I made this a little long, but I don't. I want to tell somehow some people that I just I don't feel. I don't know how to explain it because I feel worthless right now. I didn't make it to work. And I gotta go in the rig and my rig's broken. I feel like a guy that should be sitting inside the room right now. And, you know, I don't know what to, I, I'm just in a mood right now. And I don't know how to, how to express it. And this is the best way to express it for me right now. So, anyways, I want to show a little video on there in front. So, everything, kind of what this guy named Outlaw does on his bit videos. And he's one of my favorite video watchers. I watch him all the time. About chewing and all that stuff. That's what this kind of channel's made for Jeeps and chewing and my stupid light went out. There we go. And then, uh, so. I will talk to you guys later. I've been ranting enough. I'm just mumbling random crap right now. So, I'll talk to you guys later. You guys will have a good one. I'll let you know on the Met when in Medford. Thank you.